Hello everyone, this is Monster Number One, and we are playing Star Fox Adventures. Now today, we have arrived at the Wall City where the King Earthwalker is being held prisoner. And so, by talking to that guy, you must mean this big temple right over here, folks. Now we gotta try and figure out how to get inside. And as you go, no. Here are the red eyes that are pretty much big tyrannosauruses that are currently holding the king. And what's with this? Apparently, we need to do something on it. I don't know what, but we'll find out. I got enough magic. Yeah, you gotta cast a little magic spell, and it's ground quake. And apparently, opens that up. Now, don't worry about the tyrannosauruses that are wandering around because you cannot get rid of them at all. Now, you gotta try and get inside the temple. And yeah, the time of day or night, like, will affect this, because if it's daytime, then you are going to run into a dead end like that. God, I gotta stop rolling. Okay, here we go. Okay, hurry it up, I'm timed here. Because the time of day or night there seems to affect how you go about this place. Yes, it is. You want to go down here. At least I think it's this way. I think I might be going backwards. Did I pick the wrong one? Yes, I did. Yeah, basically there are about two different switches that you need to activate here, and I screwed it up by going into the wrong one. So, let's wait for night to come around. Get by these guys. Get away from me. He ain't munching on his rock. So let's wait for night to come around and then I'll show you how you do this right. First, let's get ourselves healed up. Probably get tricky with some food here, too. Okay, night's coming around and the temple is going to be a little different, but this time let's try and do this right. But that's the main bit. I don't know what was going on. It shouldn't have wound up like that. Now that's the way I kind of went, and that's the way I shouldn't have went that last time. So now we gotta go ahead and get going. As usual, you are timed because you gotta see the light up that furnace that's just right there. Okay. Yeah, these guys here will take a chomp out of you or something sometimes. Now let's go this way, and hopefully we don't come across any. Okay. Good. This is the way we went last time. It should have let me by the other way because it was daylight, but for some reason it wouldn't let us. So yeah, this here is Luna, the blue, the darkness, get by the planes, don't really need to worry. And then you're going to want to get Tricky Flame ready right here. He is running right behind you. There, now we just gotta get daylight. So, I'm gonna have to wait for the sun to rise. So, I guess I'll go back to that place where I was right before and get by the Tyrannosaurus. Now, trying to make a fox sandwich out of me. Well, yeah, here it is. Now, I'm gonna have to wait until it's light because it'll make it easier and. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. So, I'll be right back. See you tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. Now that dawn's coming around, we can go ahead and light this. And hopefully the temple will be working right this time. So, we're timed once again. You got yourself a minute to do this. So, let's just get by this little fruit. I, and I mean that. That's actually pretty little compared to some other guys. God, like I said, look at that. Okay, so what was those? I thought it was going to be stationary. I wonder. It probably would have been easier just to go the other way. Okay, now we're getting some progress in. This is the way you want to go. Stick with the sun and you got it. Ah, uh, that one got me. So, once again, you just want to get Tricky's Flame Command ready, so that he'll use it. Oh, 
Okay, apparently we're gonna be going underneath the temple by the looks of it. Now it's just right over here. Probably would have been a better idea to get this one first and then the blue one afterwards, but I was trying to do that, but for some reason the temple wasn't acting right for me. Man, it is so hard to break that rolling habit. Okay, let's get in here and see what we have. Oh, and this must be Tricky's father. Kind of hard to see the family resemblance, though. Dad, Dad, you're okay. Tricky, my son. You don't have to worry about me. I have a king. <laughs> ah, the famous Star Fox. Hero of Dinosaur Planet. Ah, uh, yeah. That's me. And before you ask, no. I haven't got the spellstone, but I do know where you can look. To enter the lair of the Red Eye King, you must first find the two sacred teeth. Not an easy task, as they are protected by the very light force of the Red Eye tribe. Locate the magic cave. The answer lies within. And somehow that bridge wasn't there before, but then it all of a sudden appears there now. Very weird. So apparently there are two canes here. One is the Earth Walker, and the other one is the big bad Red Eye King that holds the Spellstone. So in order to get to it, as you can see, you have yourself a little target right up there. So what does that do? Let's see. It causes four pillars over there to light up, and of course there's going to be one for every tree, and in order to find those, all you gotta do is look for Earthwalkers, because they are standing right beside, right beside the tree that you need to get, and now we're going to need Tricky here to flame this. Okay, good, now let's try going up here. Okay, what's this? Must be the magic key, but it's buried. So, instead of a shovel, we'll go ahead and blast our way in. So, want to get some distance and just use whatever earth or fire or however you like to blast the hole open. And now we are once again in another cave. So, what sort of power are we going to get this time? Let's see. <laughs> And now we have collected the Super Ground Quake, which is an upgraded Ground Quake. So with this, we can now go ahead and knock down large enemies like the big bad Tyrannosaurus that are wandering around outside. So now we're actually able to get rid of those big bad beasts because we need to in order to grab one of those sacred teeth that the Earthwalker was talking about. But of course, that only unlocks one of the teeth. The other one is connected to these trees here that we've got been getting. I guess you could say one tooth is being guarded by the red eyes, and the other one is being guarded by the earth walkers. And speaking of earth walkers, here's another one. Like I said, all you gotta do is look for an earth walker right beside a tree, and that tree there is the seal to one of the sacred teeth. So. We'll go ahead and shoot that one, and that causes another lance to light up. So, now that we got that one, we're just going to have to try and figure out where the rest of the teeth are. Well, the rest of the... Well, actually, there was another Earthwalker that we found just right in front of our ship, and he was right by the side of the tree as well, wasn't he? So let's go ahead and talk to him. But first, let's go ahead and show you our new power that we got, the Super Grand Quake. All you gotta do is get close to one of these big bad boys, and unleash it. And now it's actually knocked down, so you can't really get rid of him, because these guys here are pretty darn tough, so you gotta go ahead and give him a good blast with one of these bombs. And there are about four of these guys wandering around, so you're just gonna have to try and get rid of them all. Here's another one. Let's go ahead and take care of him now. Bang! That did the trick. Now, last, like last time, just grab yourself a bomb and get over here before he gets up. Because for some reason, those bombs won't work when they're wandering around. You have to knock them down first. So, that's two red eyes down. Oh, look. Another pterodactyl, another cloud runner. Oh, there's another one of you big bad boys. Just go ahead and bypass you. 
You ain't eating me. Yeah, right around here. Yep, as you can see, there is yet another mark, so we'll go ahead and shoot it. And that's three, so where's the fourth one? Might need to go look around a little bit for the fourth. Can't quite remember where it was. Oh, wait, I know where it was. It's in a rather hideous spot somewhere around here. about ran right off of it. Yep, now I remember. He's right over here, right beside this waterfall. Basically, you just want to go over to the right side of this waterfall here, and there is the last earth walker guarding the tree. And man, this sucker here had, actually had me confused there for a little bit of a while. So, I just want to go ahead and shoot that mark, and that's all of them. What does that do? It causes a little river race that we have to do. So, we'll go ahead and do it, since we're actually right there. So, you want to start right by the waterfall here, and swim through this ring, and it causes that to open up, and then you just got to swim into the river in order to get there. Now, you have to swim through all these rings, because they'll give you more time when you do, plus they unlock another one. So, yeah, you are pretty much going to have to swim through all of these rings here in order to make it through this. And yes, it is okay to roll here since it helps you walk or run through this water. Basically, it's a good idea to stay in the deep end because you're able to swim or just roam, roll through. Don't bother walking, you'll slow down when you walk, so in this case, it's okay to roll. And yes, it's also okay to swim through all of the rings because it gives you a little bit more time. Yeah, as you see, I'm not really moving too fast there, but I think I'm actually moving a little faster when I roll. But yeah, you just gotta go ahead and swim through an entire lap here through this river. Or it could be called a moat in this means that's around the middle temple right there. Of the walled city. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, maybe it'll be easier to just get up here and roll. You want to jump through that and get in here before the timer runs out. And we made it. And here is the first two. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and do the A thing. This is the Silver Red Eye 2. So, now that we got that, all that's left now is to take care of those nasty red eyes.